Welcome back. Hope you guys got your water that we needed to do. Um, this video needs no explanation. It will all be explained. It will all make sense when we watch 10 minutes of raw Silver vs. Hacks content. We're going to throw you into our pregame content here before we get into our match. We hope you guys enjoy. Welcome everyone to the first ever game of Zero Cycle Horse between Hacking Noises and Silver. If you've never heard of the game, let me explain. Hacks will go first and attempt a Zero Cycle, but with a specific twist of his choosing. If he successfully hits the Zero, then Silver must replicate the same Zero Cycle. Silver is at risk of receiving a Z if he fails, spelling out the word Zero. However, if Silver succeeds, he chooses a new Zero Cycle and play continues back and forth until one player fails enough times to spell zero. Hey, let's let's swap hockeys. Uh, we do back. Uh, actually, no, back on just like you are. Back ninety seven swap hockeys. Very okay. good. Dude, my hockeys are weird. You know. <laughs> are they? My, I, mine are like normal, so maybe this is like way easier for you. <laughs> Can we get swap? I guess, wait, we should probably do this one within a few tries, I think. This is way too hard. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I think a few tries is probably good. Dude, how do you hit left crouch? My pinky just isn't built for this. I'm gonna mess up the bridge because of left crouch. I'm not doing that extension. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Three times, three times. <laughs> <laughs> no! Dude, I forgot! Oh my god. Why am I using glowstone? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, it's over. You still have okay. one more. You have one more try. I got it the third try as well. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't remember. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. I fucking had it, I just needed to fucking play some- <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess I have a, a Z. <laughs> I have a Z. You go to back 1-8, one, one pearl. I, I don't think that's possible. One pearl? With jump boost 4. <laughs> Dude, okay, sure. <laughs> Dude, what did I run out of Dude, I ran out of block. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, it's not again! Okay. Oh my god. Dude, I ran out of block. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, where am I? Like, where am I? Dude, I, I wanna- oh, okay, yeah. we're- we're keep- I, I'm gonna continue it. Okay, I'm- I'm just stealing your idea. Um... Okay, sure. Okay, one for all, front, 90, what was it, 96 or higher? Yeah. Okay. At least I have practice. At least I have practice. <laughs> Am I fucking- Oh my god. Oh my god. No. 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 Dude. Fuck. 
Oh yeah. my god. Okay, I'm at a fucking Z. Z E. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh. It's so hard. It's so hard. No. <laughs> 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 Dude, it's so hard! Oh my god! Okay. No! Oh. oh! Oh my god! No, dude! What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, okay, I'm doing. I'll do the the arm bar thing again. I'm hitting this. I don't care. What is happening? Okay. No, <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I'm so I'm actually getting fucked. I'm gonna oh my god. Okay, I'm at I'm at zero. I'm a, dude, I'm actually gonna get 4-0. 1-8. <laughs> uh, back. Any height, any explosives, but you have to fruit bridge the cords. <laughs> okay, well, uh, good attempt, good attempt. Good I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do slime zero. <laughs> <laughs> One eight, front, slime zero. <laughs> I don't know, it might just be weird, basically. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that was like... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it sounds so dumb. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where did I build it? Oh my god, I did 3 on 93 or something. That was basically just what I was hoping for. <laughs> like some micro blood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I've never done this before, but I know it's possible, so hopefully I just rip it. Front, like 94, 1 pearl, 1 8, but you bed explode the bed, uh, the fucking pearl into the tower, <laughs> and then you hit it. <laughs> okay. No! No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, what? It's, uh, okay, two more taps. Um. Dude, this is okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, this is so hard. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, CND, CND. Now that I'm warmed up, back, 100, 
pop set up. Five, five <laughs> okay. exclusive. Five? Okay. Five is it's doable, but it's hard. It's hey, six then. <laughs> six then. Okay, six, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, I could have fucking supplied this guy. <laughs> Dude, oh, I just ripped the fur off. <laughs> no, that's really sad. Well, I mean, honestly, happy for me. <laughs> we're both at Zora? Yeah, we're both at Zora. Okay, I'm doing the crystal shit again. Um. 94 front 5 crystal. Okay, no, 6 um, six crystal. 2 attempts. <laughs> oh! No, no! It's not doing any KB, but <laughs> that damage was insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, did you see that talent? Okay, that's a good talent. Wait, no! Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, no! That's not my brain. Dude, what is happening? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well... GG. GG. <laughs> Dude, this is so fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. G. Well, nerdy? Do you think Hacks wins the match now? Ooh, I said earlier I can't I can't I can't go I can't I can't undo my predict I gotta I gotta go with, with silver. We we've 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 had we've we've seen too many movies together, you know, we've <laughs> we we've it, it would be it would be betrayal. I can't do it. I can't do it. Silver is I wish they down. um I wish they it was probably just too hard to do like that speed hundred one or whatever. Like I wish they did more things with the potion effects. Imagine front front one and eight blindness. Or something like you can't yeah. sprint during the zero. That was cool though. I like that. I, I beat Minecraft once with speed one hundred and twenty or whatever. I like them going uh, with the the iron bars funny. and everything. That was good. But let's yeah. uh, let's look at our seed pick bands real quick. Or no 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 the uh, player cards. Right. Let's do this. Right right right. Wow, it's a nearly even opponent win loss. Sub eleven Dang. average from silver though. I think the maybe third or second sub-11 average we've seen, we've seen like a couple high 10 fives, a couple low 11s. Very, very even. Wow. And Silver, season one winner. That's very true. True. Throw it over the hacks, I guess. Let's see. Again, very even. Like barely, barely slower on that ranked average time, like 10 seconds. Not that big of a deal at all. And Hacks second place in season three. You know, Nerdy, season one, 10 months ago. Is it less of an important win to win season one than it is to Ooh. get second in season three? What do you think carries Ooh. more weight? I mean, there's an argument, I think. I think there's an argument. Um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think it's close. I think both players are very good. I think they have very different play styles. Which is going to be very interesting to watch. Hax is a yeah. much more speed demon, whereas Silver is a more methodical, knows a lot, very fast, of course, as well. But I feel like uh, they're slight. They got these slightly different play styles. That it's going to be interesting to watch. I was going to be very close, very very close. And I mean, it just sucks that one of them has to get out in the the round of sixteen. It's the way that I this agree seeds... with that. The way the seeds lined up, but uh, I think now we take a look at our pick bands before we get into seed one of this crazy best of three. If those are ready for us, and they are. Nice. No BT ban and no Desert Temple ban as well.
So potential nice. to see both. Second BT seed of the day. Very, very interesting. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think happen? this kind of makes sense. I feel like both of them like BTs. Um, I think Silver Pigment totally makes sense. I don't know. I just think of him liking those kind of seeds. Uh, Shipwreck Band is interesting. It's kind of like the prior meta, it seems like. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of those. Village Ban, um, man, I'd be interested to go through his thought process. That It seems a little bit random. I guess maybe it just doesn't want to play that. Yeah, I mean, you could miss some... Um... Miss a lava pool, miss some flint. Things are things are sometimes weird with villages. And Desert Temple could be a, a little bit more um, linear of a over overworld. Sometimes it, it really just all depends on the seed itself, you know, on, on how linear right. the the temple and the village would be. So to me, they're they're pretty similar. Um, but we're ready to get into the game. I'm a turn guy. Very exciting stuff. BT seed first. Both these runners know. Looks like Silver's got the chunk. Hawks yeah. a little confused. A little over on the chunk. A few seconds there. Not going to be the end of the world, but... I think Silver uh, yeah, Silver would be the one to pick the seed. He's the, uh, the higher seeded player. Right. Fifth place versus 12. Hacks barely scraping into the auto qual on the last day of Season 4. Some very intense, exciting stuff. And but very, uh, should be a very um, standard overall. I guess there's no TNT in this BT, so it's a bit whack, I guess, you, you could say. But good amount of iron, a, though, you know? Uh, not a huge deal. Yeah. Should be chill. Silver crafted 18 gold nuggets on accident. I'm going to recraft those. But he's out of this island just barely faster, mainly due to being. On the island, barely faster after the BT. Both these runners boating the exact same direction. Almost a duo's run. And Hax is just following Silver to the enter. You can imagine them both together on the same seed. But today, Nerdy, they're not friends. They're enemies. Wow. Only one can pass till next week. Wow. But tomorrow, they'll probably be friends again. Poetic. Same Magma Ravine. Silver's got some redstone in the bottom, bottom of his portal. It's going to be a couple ticks of time loss, which would have mattered in the Ralph Eastrid match. But Hax is doing it in the same exact spot, so does it really matter? I don't know. They're going to enter the same spot, standardized because of ranked. Going to have to see how these runners get to the Bastion, how they get to the fort, how they approach this open terrain nether. Nothing crazy so far. Bastion spotted. Had to do some Bastion ID here. Maybe stables, maybe bridge, maybe housing. We don't know. Looks like it's the top of stables. Could also use the entity counter to suggest that as well. 60 entities, almost always going to be a stables. So Ren knows he's in a left triple here. He's going to grab the gold and potentially bring these piglins down to the gap. Four gold blocks are not going to be enough. And it looks like that is his play. Or at least just grab the gold to trade more. Tax looking to start a very similar route here. These players both know the ranked filter. Obviously, if you're playing regular random seed runs, your stables can have any combination of gaps and triples and doubles and singles and whatever. But in ranked... The Bastions are guaranteed to be playable, so each stables will at least be double, triple, or have one good gap. And so these runners know that one triple means there must be a good gap. Have to, uh, have to be able to bring the pigs down. Max getting a little low here. A lot of pigs, but on three hearts. And I think he's going to clutch it out. Pig fall here. Scary potentially for hacks. Two and a half. But he's good, he clutches. Silver opting for regular default stables. 
as both these runners crank the trades. So where it gets the direction with the pie chart. Some pretty open terrain that way. 15 obsidian from the top triple chests and the middle uh, single. Top middle single, I think. Not sure if Hacks checked that or not. I'll have to wait and look in his inventory and see. But so he's got 30 obsidian. Hacks already has 21. Yep. So both runners are going to be having very similar trades here. Heading towards the fort. Hax has to do something to catch up. Hope for a silver mistake or make some good terrain decisions. I'm not sure. There we go. Looks like he's ready to go as well. Just a little bit behind. Just trailing a few seconds. Yep. Silver so spots the spawner here on the side of the fort. Is able to pearl directly to that spawner. Hax clutching on the side is going to have to push through this fort a little bit. Whereas Silver is going to be able to instantly crank this blaze bed. Yep. Going to save him a little bit on a cycle, potentially. Yep, gets that three spawn right there. Unfortunately, nice. not a four spawn. Hax gets spawned on. Oof. In the blaze bed, two hearts. I don't know if he has any food. Oh man, this could be risky if he gets a blaze spawn on him. One and a half. Kills the blaze God. with the blaze bed, which is okay. Oof. He does have that no food, me. and Silver has no food either, so this must have been like a four cod BT, it uh, must feel like. But these uh, runners both have no food. I looked over at Hax's screen and just saw the death and I just freaked out, and then I saw he was in a <laughs> hunger reset hole, so... It's gonna burn one explosive. I really don't think it's gonna matter. I think Silver's got 33 wool in his inventory, so I, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. Um, but it obviously just is time loss to have to... Hunger reset. 1,400 blind for Silver. Picking up a Salmon for food perhaps can um light this fish on fire in the nether look away but it's been done one cooked salmon opting to not nice. hunger reset i think that's a smart play i like i like this fish wow hacks blinding on a play. um iceberg instead of over the ocean might not have to use a pearl to get back to his portal Silver nice. needs one more rod to be able to go. And he's waiting on the next spawn cycle. Could be potentially unlucky if Hax doesn't need to wait on a spawn cycle. But there it is for Silver. Gets it on the second blaze and is able to head to Cords. Has everything pre-crafted. Will have to hunger reset in the portal room if he needs to zero. But he's leaving and Hax needs three more rods. Looking like a Potentially very quick victory for Silver here in just a couple of minutes. Maybe even a sub nine if this nav is insta. These runners obviously both have been practicing their zeros. Maybe not the most um, conventional of zeros, but they were both at least doing a lot of zeros recently. And Hacks heading to Cords as well. Could be one of the matches today that we've seen come down to Stronghold Nav. Silver going to pop out the preemptive here. No great spike. There it is. Top left. Looks even better that way. I think he hears Silverfish. Hears it. And there it is. Yep. Yep. Right oh. there. Gets that pearl to speed up the hunger reset. And Hax is on the surface. Oh, no. Potentially built yeah. at the wrong cords. I'm not sure if it honestly would have even matters. mattered, though, as Silver's ready to zero. So if that makes some um, Hacks fans feel a little bit better, but I think Hacks just built in the wrong spot. It could potentially have fully missed. Not sure where Silver was. Maybe mismeasured his first eye, or his only eye. Silver so building to 95 back cage. We've seen this a lot from runners today. Hybrid setup. Damn. Something been labbed semi recently. Trying to put the pillow in the most optimal places for explosions and KB. 
Very, very clean five bad. Looks like Hacks did miss his measurement somehow. Ooh. But it wouldn't that have mattered. Be for the mental, but... No, could be. Could obviously just shake it off. You know, maybe learning experience could just be, you know, misclick on Ninja Brain Bot. Not sure what happened there. But it wouldn't have mattered. Silver hits the zero. Barely not sub nine. But still sub ten. There we go. Yeah, Hacks asking in chat what records. Negative 102. Negative 2 or 156. Yeah, so Hacks... Maybe looking if it's his other offset, looking if he changes the uh, adjustment maybe a little bit left or right. Not sure, but don't think it would have mattered too much. So we're just in the fort. I mean, a little bit slower than Hacks, I guess, but did Pearl on directly onto the spawner as opposed to the side of the fort. So Silver was just a little bit ahead and then was able to keep that lead heading to the stronghold and wins off the zero anyways, I think, even if Hax was able to hit the stronghold. I don't think it would have mattered. You still on the silver train, Nerdy? Right. Think you think it's a 2-0? Yep. Or... I'm, I'm, ooh, is it a 2-0? That's a good question. Um, Maybe so. Silver looked really good that game. A lot of, like, small little decisions, like the, like, for example, like, going for the salmon and just overall his movement and, and play just looked cleaner to me. Like, I feel like hacks almost died hacks. I mean, hacks wasn't playing bad, but I feel like silver was playing somehow both safer and faster. Yeah. Some good micro decisions there from silver. And I think, I mean, hacks was playing very well too, but silver was just a, a little bit above on all of these splits. Cleaner. Enter nether, enter bastion, finding stronghold. You know, the only thing with the fort enter it, different spots could lost some time there but i think he was at the spawner without losing you know that much time at all um so i think we're gonna see what hacks picks for c2 again not sure this really matters as you do need to win both but we have seen three out of our six completed matches today end in sort of reverse sweeps someone wins the first seed other player wins seed two and three. So if you give yourself the best possible chance to win seed two, you might be able to carry that momentum fully through, win seed three, and move on to next week. I think a lot of runners, I don't know if get nervous more because it's a best of three, because uh, once we get on to you know the round of eight, quarterfinals, semifinals, they're all, all best of fives at least. So potentially more like RNG mitigation, you know? Like if you get unlucky in a seed here, like something genuinely bad just happens, like gas gets in your way, random skeleton, wither skelly moment, you know? some Something just very out of your control where you lose a lot of time or you um, lose the entire seed because of it. You don't have as much of a buffer on these best of threes as you do compared to the best of fives and best of sevens. So it could be big nerve thing with a lot of these players, you know, just trying to get through the first day to sort of let the best of five speak for themselves and, and truly, you know, try to let the better, better Minecraft, you know, no RNG get, get in your way uh, next week. I don't know if that made any sense. I'm going to be honest. Tried my best. <laughs> see, do we have the, um, do we have the uh, um, seeds? We don't. I mean, he's probably, he just did it before the first seed. It's probably fine. Oh, okay. Nerdy, do you have anything to stall for us for a few stall. seconds? Let's see. Um, uh, stall, um, stalling question. Uh, chat, chat, how about you guys ask a stalling question? You ask, they ask us? That's, you can't flip it around like that. I Scared. think that was smart. I think that was really smart. <laughs> Isn't that smart? Did you talk to Obama again? No. Not yet, not yet. Guys, we were lying the, we were lying the, the first time. It's just the best show ever made, period. If you were a You're serial, a which one would you be? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a hard question. Well, it doesn't matter. Don't need to answer it. We're playing Desert Temple. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Hacks 
more confident on Desert Temple compared to Rune Portal, I guess. What he's saying off those picks. Very fair. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to win both anyways. He's got to win Desert Temple and Rune Portal. The order shouldn't matter, but mentally it might matter a lot. So you do want to pick the one that you're potentially most confident in to build that momentum. And we'll see if we get a, another juicy best of three or if it's going to be a quick silver 2-0. I think this overworld could be very telling nerdy on how these players, you know, enter what they enter with. The speed could be a lot of separation in this overworld. And every time I see one of these, I just get reminded that I miss AA. That's all. It's been, it's been four days nerdy. Oh my God, Feinberg! What are you four doing? Four days, nerdy. What have you even been up to, man? What have you been? Even you know what I've been up to. I've been I don't gaming. Know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Okay. I mean, I'm not explaining it. I mean, man. I've been a busy. No I've been a busy bee. Been a busy bee. That's fair. Yeah. That's no fair. gravel in the bottom of this temple, but nine iron, twenty-four gunpowder. Neither of these players are on English, so I'm gonna have no idea what these what this book says. But that's okay. <laughs> I do find it funny that Silver, whatever language Silver's playing in, I think it's like Frangian or something. His um, the TNT is just called DND. &D. <laughs> like it's the same three letter abbreviation, but they just replaced T with D. Is Silver on Frangian? I think he is, but I'm not sure. And then I think Hax is on Norwegian. I don't know. It's very yeah. interesting still that there's not like one consensus best language. People kind of switch them around a lot, uh, which yeah. I think is yeah, cool. Yeah. I think yeah, Hax I was so on maybe so Korean or Vietnamese for a while too. Um, what? Silver's Never swapped around a lot. I know Silver was a huge Bosnian guy for a while. I was on Bosnian for like a month. That was crazy. Never again, bro. That was crazy. I switch languages. So you switch languages in the first place to um, search craft things better. Um, if you're like me, you think that using the book is cheating because the game crafts for you. And uh, back in back in my day, right, you right, 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 had to drag everything yourself. Did you even um, speed run? I guess a little bit. Did you? I'm fully joking. I don't know when they added the oh. book. Um, 112, 112, but 112. yeah, like if you, if you want to like maybe craft like, uh, beds and anchors, right. Um, there's obviously a couple things you can type that could overlap that, uh, in English. But then if you change your language, it obviously changes the name of all the items, uh, in the game. And so then you can type different things in your search bar and potentially have better things pop up, uh, when you go to search something, ideally if the rules let us make our own custom languages, we could probably make a speedrunner language where if you typed like W, everything that um, involved any sort of explosives would come up and nothing else. And then if you typed like T, it would only be like tools or something. But obviously that's not allowed, um, even though it's possible, like you can just import a language pack or a resource pack or whatever. But runners just uh, use a lot of languages. And I think people use different ones mainly because certain languages are better for certain things. Like, there's obviously not one god language. Like, if, if, if there's a language that does really good at overlapping explosives crafting, maybe it's not so good at overlapping, like, ingot crafting or shears or axe. And so if you play differently um, than somebody else, you craft certain things more, play a different category. Like, I'd imagine there'd be a better language if uh, AA search crafting um hook off there could be a better one for aa right like you need anvil and enchanting table like you don't need to craft that in an uh in an any percent run anyways both these runners in a treasure i have no idea if they saw the fort or not um but hacks did enter this treasure maybe 20 seconds faster i should say or, or i think uh, so, assuming both these runners are doing basically the same route, they should leave this at around the same time. 
So Hack should have a lead leaving this Bastion, but we'll obviously have to wait and see what we get um, who actually leaves first. No, it's chat making you giggle a little bit. Or, um... Dude, it gets me every time, man. I, it gets me every time. Dude, chat, you guys you guys can't bait me like this, man. You guys know that I'm like, I, I smile very easily. It's, it's, it's very, it's... I need to focus, okay? I need to focus. It's okay, Nerdy. You're doing your best. Right, back, Port right there for Silver. Pearl hanging, though. Hax is already gone. Silver might just be able to leave. Oh, he's got 18 Obsidian, though. So it has to wait here for the 20. Not sure if Hax has 20 or not, but he's in the fort first. All of this is just raw time save over Silver. Silver's got 22. What's he waiting for? Maybe an extra fire res. Only one fire res. Like one fire Doesn't get it. Yeah. Still waiting, though. More and more time loss. No Hax is in the fort as well. No fire res. He's just going to leave. I'm not sure if Hax only has one. And is playing off just one. Yeah, Hax is. One fire res only. So Silver is going to hold this fire res for a while, I think. Nope, drinks it right on these two blazes. Okay, if this was one blaze, I would have yelled at him. But two blazes, that's okay to drink early. But the danger with drinking a fire res early is if the rates are bad, it's very possible that this fire res will run out by the time these runners have to get to second portal. And if it's over lava, you're just kind of fucked. Um, so it is definitely scary. It's definitely good to wait for um, two... Fires, but unfortunately Silver gets punished for that play and Hax is very far ahead on this seed, already blinding at least three rods. You like this new setup. Silver's 283. That's not gonna need any fire res 30 blocks away, probably in the fort still, to be honest. So unless Hax messes up Stronghold Nav or Zero. Yeah, already already hitting the cords. Oh my god! Wow. And the cords are right here, nerdy. Oh my god! Silver, <laughs> Silver right, waiting for the fire res really doesn't matter. Sub at nine pace potentially. Silver or uh, Hax clears inventory to pre-craft early. I think he's trying to craft a gold pick here and just overlapping everything. There it is. And as you see that search crafting here, he typed L H and a gold pick popped up because. That's just got to be the best thing for um, Norwegian. Maybe if you type LH, awesome. gold pick's the only thing that shows up. I'm not sure. In the stronghold, though, mid-7. Silver hasn't even measured yet. Man. Actually, maybe he did, and I missed it while that entire search crafting was going. It was very possible. I was very zoned in on the search crafting. Hack's trying to... Find the portal room. Gets an okay spike. Is it all the way down here? No. Silver hitting the cords. Hax needs to find the portal room. All his time saves slowly going away. I think he sees it there. there, there it the, there's the lava on the side. Four eye. Four eye. Wow. He's got five beds and one anchor. Going to craft more beds here. He's got the time to do it as long as he's in the end first and hits a zero. He wins, so we're not even in the stronghold. Back 91 looks like it. 87. I was wrong. Going to build to 95 here. Should be a pretty standard zero. Four hacks. Has the food. Has the explosives. Wow, got time. Should be very good here. There we go. Wow. Yep. Crossbow Just extension for the five bed. Silver's going to get the free the end in his chat. Gonna know that it's unfortunately too late. Is able to get in the end. So props to Silver, keeping it a bit close. But unfortunately, keeping it close isn't gonna cut it. And we're gonna see a seed three. Barely sub nine from Hacks by four ticks. He just left on wow. under incredible, incredible stuff. Yeah, just well done. And if Silver was the one playing consistently slightly better yeah. last seed, it was Hacks this seed. 
just looking at the splits, every single split, just 10 seconds, basically. Yep. Only and the stronghold being a bit slow, but that's it. Just slowly better and better across the, uh, the, entire, the entire length of the seed, every split. What do you think this does for the momentum, Nerdy? You know, ooh, that's a good question. I mean, first thing you could definitely chalk up to just like, you know, maybe nerves for hacks, for example. Um, and you could say that, but I also feel like, you know, finishing off a, a, a round is hard. You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, I feel like there's there's some feeling of like, okay, like it's one thing to, like, I, I feel like closing out a series is just challenging, right? And so um there's a certain mentality you need to just like it, it's like that sort of threshold i guess to move on to the next round is mentally challenging to achieve I don't, i'm waffling but i'm basically saying mm -hmm. that um i feel like even with momentum that's not necessarily enough for the mental will we see these two players both lock in this seed you know what i mean that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping for a really close round just some good minecraft um, but it could totally go either way. I'm going to stick to my original prediction of Silver winning, but I would not be surprised in the slightest if we see Hacks take the dub. Well, I think you're very noble, Nerdy, for sticking to your prediction, and I think we should hear from the Fulham Analysis segment to see what he thinks, if he's going to back you up, or if he thinks Hacks is going to be our fourth reverse sweep of the day. We'll send it over to Fulham. So, very, very interesting. What a first two seeds that we've had from Silver and Hacking Noises. Now, something that I wanted to pick up on is the fact that during the main season, we've had 29 matches between these opponents. 15 wins to Silver and 14 wins to Hacking Noises. They really and truly are struggling to be separated. With this first seed, Silver is able to take it with, again, very, very minute decision-making. And something that was crucial was this decision to go for the Salmon rather than the Hunger Reset. We can see the Hacking Noises has full hunger, full health, due to that final Hunger Reset using one of the explosives, but confident in the number uh, of explosives that he has for zero. Instead, Silver decides to steal a Salmon from the ocean, take it back into the Nether, and use it for food. Very smart play, very heads up play, especially while you are over the ocean. Make it your advantage, uh, able to, you know, heal back up. But something that we did spot, even though Silver was ahead, something that uh, made a big, big difference in this is the mismeasure from Hacks. Hacks missed the stronghold, and this, I believe, is why. If I take a second here, and we load into the nether, uh, sorry, out of the nether, into the overworld. Watch how he steps forward onto this ice, if I can try and get my bitrate to work. As he steps forward, notice that he's still slightly moving forward as he pillars up on these two gravel, as he slides upon the ice. You can see that his cursor is still slightly moving, sorry, his position slightly moving forward, and that is going to cause an offset between where he's standing and where he's thrown the... Uh, sorry, where he's standing when he F3Cs and where he's thrown the eyes from. You have to be standing still for, I believe, around one full second or a certain number of game ticks for the eye to be correctly measured uh, accurately enough during uh, the Ninja Brain bot. And as we see... Once he does take this measurement, it was in fact incorrect. And that could just be due to the tiniest movement on that gravel block, which in fact could have made all the difference. However, in this seed, in reality, Silver was already ahead and was able to finish it out. Irrelevant of the fact that once uh, Hax did build this portal, he did not indeed hit the stronghold. Instead, hitting the surface and around about 300 blocks away from the stronghold. Not hitting, even though he does dig down here, wasn't going to be able to find it. And all the meanwhile, Silver was in the stronghold and prepared to zero. And he does so. Taking down seed one, 
um, and putting him into game point. However, that meant that Hack's back was against the wall, having to win these final two seeds and choosing to uh, play confidently. On the other hand, Silver tried to play, I think, a little bit safer. As you can see here, waiting for an extra fire resistance trade. Only has one fire resistance potion and potentially is a little bit stressed about how he's going to do during this seed. Needs to try and get that fire res to potentially feel a little bit more confident to stay in the stronghold. Sorry, stay in the fortress for a little bit longer. Eventually decides to just eat the time loss and go for it. But after 15 or 20 seconds of waiting, that is still going to put him at a severe disadvantage. And eventually, this does truly catch up with him as even though he's able to get into the stronghold with the eye spy and does pretty much instant have to find the end portal, Hax is able to clutch out the zero cycle with a 20 or 30 second advantage here. And with a lovely crossbow plus one, it is very, very clean. And after seeing that amazing zero cycle exhibition horse style match at the start, we've really shown exactly why these runners are fantastic at their craft. So it is one seed apiece. Two runners that people could have predicted to win the entire tournament facing off in the round of 16. Who's going to advance to the quarterfinals? I hope you guys stay to find out. And if this is indeed the last seed that you see me, thank you very much for joining us on day one of MCSR Ranked. If we do happen to go to a 1-1 in the next and final match, I will see you then. But otherwise, it has been all from me, and I very much appreciate you sticking with us. I'm going to pass you back to Nerdy and Feinberg, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the tournament. I believe in the... Uh... In the Dugo Manji best of three, game three. I believe we'll see Fulham back in an hour. But yeah. we'll obviously have to wait and see then. We have more pressing matters to attend to, Nerdy. We have Silver we Hacks know. game three, 100%. This is going to be... Uh, it, 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 it's going to be a heartbreaker, no matter what, I feel like. Because I, I want both these people to win, you know? Yeah. I mean... We got the room portal seed. Should be a very consistent overworld. I mean, neither of these players seem to really get an insane amount of uh, leverage over the other one in the overworlds. It was more just generally Silver just played better across the board seed one. Hacks played better across the board seed two. Yep. And it's just going to come down to who's going to play better across the board seed three. And I, I we're just going to have to wait and see. I, I literally don't know. Their stats are so even. They... They're, everything is just so even between these runners. It's just who's going to lock in more, what's going to be more comfortable. It's probably a very, very big mental thing as well, right? Knowing that, I mean, maybe we throw it over to the bracket for a very quick second if we can. Who are these runners playing if they win Griffin, the season three winner? But again, it is a best of five. So you think the mentals maybe like if we just barely get out of day one, we'll have a week to practice look at some VODs, learn some new things potentially, um, and then run it next week, best of five, can make maybe one or two more mistakes next week than you did today. Yeah. For them, it's just about going. I don't know. I think that's Fire Aspect because I don't know what it said for Silver, but for Hacking Noises, it said Flame 1. So it is Fire Aspect. <laughs> That would be correct. Now, a very interesting thing on the seed nerdy. I will say, you have five iron, okay? Um, I'm going to commit to my thought because I am not going to... I'm just going to own up that I was wrong. For some reason, I thought that these runners needed to make a bucket uh, because that happened in the last rune portal. Uh, okay. I didn't think that you... I was thinking that potentially the runners could go to the village and kill the golem, but I'm just stupid. Ax gets three diamonds, though. Gets to make a pickaxe from that, unless he's edgy and makes a diamond axe. Oh, no diamond axe. That's fair. No, but this could change the way that, that he axe, plays though. the seed. <laughs> it definitely does. I mean, there's going to be a much slower enter. Silver's just on the room portal. Has good food still. Um, has good blocks from the shears, but uh, hacks has diamond pickaxe. Even 19. You know what I mean? Like, I mean... Yeah, exactly. It's a break point. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, this is just... Silver should, just, is... Silver should just, like... Wait, Silver should just die, no? 
Probably. Uh, I mean, he's just going to commit to it here, I think, but I, I feel like he should just die. Wow. I think this is going really well for Hacks. Yeah, that was not ideal if you're a Silver Enjoyer at all. Um... Yeah, I guess I guess six stake is just so crazy, just so crazy. But where is uh, where's Hacks going? He's just like in the basalt for some reason. I think just curved a little bit too far. Um, yeah, I mean he doesn't really have blocks. Has to force the terrain a little bit more. He's going way left here. So Silver, keep the mental. Saw the leaf burn on the spree bridge. No, it's not going to burn under you, but you have to keep that mental up bridging under lava. Put the little mini mistakes behind you. Gets to the Bastion in time. Saw a chest up here to the right. Going to grab this. Gold armor. That's good. I'm going to keep him safe go. getting this chest here. And he's going to build with wood instead of leaves, which is funny because they're just going to both burn, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, but Silver, very ahead into this Bastion. The only thing that could mess him up here Diamond pickaxe, nerdy. That's it. Planks burn slower? Okay, but silver is lucky. So, the leaves wouldn't burn anyways. Uh, that was definitely a misplay, and I knew that fact about Minecraft. Okay. But I think I, I mean, would like, did, like, know that. <laughs> but every block that, that silver is mining is just slower. You know, like a little bit. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. The thing that will really, really matter is um, the twenty obsidian potentially. Obsidian? I don't know. Diamond yeah. pickaxe, I mean, like yes, yeah. sure, but it's not that big of a deal. I got, like, okay, sure. If they have to dig to cords through a basalt, yeah, a hundred percent. And it's possible the fort was kind of near basalt. Like, uh, there's a non-zero chance. Five obby from silver. He's only got eleven. Ooh, yeah, that this could be oh, nineteen there, from 19. silver. Are the trades done oh though? Imagine. Imagine. Are the trades done on nineteen? And he has to go up oh, Hax for Hax one Hax obby. Hax says twenty-three. Hacks says twenty-three. Oh, did Hacks enter so... from up, or did Hacks get obby from? I don't think he got obby from. Um... And he got. Somehow we got Obby from up here. There he is. There, okay. there it is. There it is for Silver. 25. Okay. But look at this. Hax is just out first. But Silver might have found a better entry here. I'm not sure. It... Yeah, leaving from top. It's so it's so close. It's so unclear. I can't. Yeah, I really Similar can't spots tell. in the fort, but Silver's just a little behind in the fort. So he's just going to catch up to the spawner literally five seconds late. Wow. So we're building up to... Oh, oh hit his head. Scared me. See here. Hacks. Three blazes at the spawner here. Gonna come down to potentially strays on this seed. It Both could. runners can pivot to spawner two on the way. Is there gonna be blazes on the way for both runners? Looks like Silver's got one blaze, but a lot more annoying mobs. Skeleton burning. Dead. One blaze on the way to spawner two. Hacks handling blazes at spawner two currently. As all's rods. Silver needs more. The rates are good though. He's got the blazes here. This should be six and seven. There's Now's six. where the micro is going to shine. Can you measure quickly? Can you get to second portal cords quickly? Silver throwing his eye. Wow. This is close. What a match so far. 1k. Okay. 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 So we're same offset as well. No desync from either runner. Max doesn't. Yep. A little bit of time loss from Silver having to grab that. That is true. So we're taking a little bit of time as well, organizing inventory in the overworld. All these things just could matter. There's the pre craft, six and one. Doesn't have to do it in the portal room. Has three okay. stake versus one mutton. Yep. Not going to matter. Good job, good job. Hack should have full HP going into the stronghold, but he's in there first. Any spike? Any spike? 
No good spike for hacks. Gonna try to open up a wall. Scan again. No good spike again. Never has been practicing his preemptive a lot. Maybe that will Hands come again. through here. It's just Hands where again. he was. It was cold. Four. Nice. He needs to craft. The third four today. But he's got the craft. He's got the health. He's just in first. Wow. If it's zero, well, it's just over. A little bit better terrain to cords. Better management of the micro. What's the zero looking like? Four beds. Oh, Ooh, a little low. Okay. He should be fine, though. Potentially nervous, but he's got explosives. Can get to 95. Yeah, more than one rotation to spare. And I think that is going to do it. If these explosives though. are good enough. Oh, oh does it need to be this anchor? I think it needs to be this anchor. It is that anchor. He got it. Wow. He gets it. Five explosive. Wow. I didn't realize. I thought it was six. He hits the five, though. Well-timed. And that's GG. Insane. Insane. Just Potential very well finals caliber level match. It's a mid-seven. Like, how do you compete with a mid-seven? I don't understand how. So I'm not sure if the diamond pick picks. was the difference or entering the bastion from the top necessarily was the difference. I'm not, I, it's unclear, right? Like very, very close splits. Just the uh, hacks having one extra rod, didn't have to pick up the eye, a little bit better travel to cords. That was kind of it. Navbed a bit faster as well. But hacks made up all that time back in the bastion just to um, maybe entering at the top. Silver had to run all the way back up to get one obsidian. That was crazy. Absolute, I mean, like, I feel like that was a privilege to watch, man. That was just amazing from both of them. They both did so well. Yeah, I mean, um, Silver on pace for low eight. Like, very, very minor mistakes, like just throwing maybe one or two bad pearls going to cords. And obviously, just taking a little bit different train to the Bastion, entering Manhunt instead of top-down, not necessarily a misplay, just doesn't end up benefiting him in that situation. And gets punished for it. And we got one more seed, one more match today. Wow. One more. Axe gets Definitely to play Priffin tomorrow. And now the only the only consolation is that if you're silver, you just hope that Hacks wins out, wins the entire playoffs, and then you can say Bro. that you would have gotten second Bro. if you lost to Hacks. That's that's what Silver is hoping for now. Silver, Silver is now the biggest Hacks fan. Did I say tomorrow? I'm sorry. I meant um I meant Saturday. Hacks. <laughs> I, I I said tomorrow. I'm sorry. Um. That's okay. <laughs> 